What's going on, engineers? This is part 12 of the Node.js basic series. We're talking about TCP networking. If you just came from the HTTP video, you'll find this video is composed in roughly the same way. We'll do a TCP server, and then we'll do a TCP client connecting to that server. This is another area where Node.js really excels at due to its event IO. It can hold open tons of connections, and it can hold open those tons of connections with practically no memory usage. So let's jump in and take a look. So on the right side of here, we have the TCP server. On the left side, we have the TCP client. So first we're gonna look at the server part. So for the server, to use TCP networking, you're gonna be requiring the module called net. The server is created by calling net.createServer. It takes one argument, which is a callback for every connection that is established to that server. So, so far it probably looks the same as HTTP, but that's where the similarities end. For TCP, see HTTP is more transactional. You make a request, you get a response. Whereas TCP is you open a connection, you do something with that connection, and that connection could stay open for days. And then once the connection is done, then it does something. But it can also do things during the connection. So when a new connection is established to the server, it's going to call this callback here. And you'll have access to a variable called con, which is short for connection. And it describes a lot of the information about that connection. So in this case, I'm outputting it. There's a new client. Basically, a connection has been established. There's a new client. After that, I'm subscribing to two events. The first one is data, and the, first, and the second one is end. So for the data event, each time data is sent over to the server, this callback is called. And all I'm doing here is I'm saying connection.write, I'm just writing the data right back to the client. Now con.end, that doesn't get called once all the data shows up. That gets called once the client cuts the connection and makes it so they can no longer send anything. So in short, server is established, client makes a connection, Client sends data, callback is called, data gets written right back to the client, and that's it. I didn't mention this earlier, but to start the server, simply server.listen, and then supply a port. So let's go ahead and get the server running. So I'll do node TCP server. And then it's just going to hang, it's just going to sit there for now. So let's test this thing out and make sure it's working. So there's a couple ways we can do it. The first one is with telnet. We'll do telnet 127.0.0.1, and then we'll supply the port, which is 9090. And you'll see that it's connected, and over here it says new client. So this is saying that it saw that the client was connected, and now it's simply waiting for data. So on the telnet side, I can type things over here. Like I can say hello, and then when I hit enter, you can see that it just responds with exactly what I said. So I put hello, it said hello. I type Brian, it tells me Brian. And that's that. So when I go to quit... You can see now it says client left. Now Node can maintain several connections at once. So if I connect again here, I can also connect over here. So now it's two clients. If I type in A here, it responds with A. If I type a B here, it responds with B. So it can maintain you know, two open connections, three, four, or several thousand or more. But in any case, the server's functioning. I send it information, it sends me back information. So for the client piece, net.createConnection is what you want to do. And net.createConnection takes two arguments. One is an options object, and then one is a callback once the connection has been established. So in this case, the one option I want to use is port, port 9090. That way it can connect to the right server. And then upon connection being established, I want to write hello to the server. And that will cause it to echo hello back to me. To actually receive data back from the server, I have to subscribe to the data event. So that's when I do client.onData. I specify a callback, which will be called every time a piece of data comes back. All I'm doing in this case is I'm simply outputting it, and then I'm ending the client. If I did not call client end, the connection would just stay open forever until I close the program. And that would actually be the only way to stop it, because the client never closes the connection. The server never closes the connection, so it would just be waiting for one of the two sides to close the program. So let's go ahead and try this out now. Our server's already running, so that's good. So on this side, we're going to do node TCP client. And you'll see that it just makes a connection, sends hello, server sends hello back, program exits. That's it. Very simple. And that's the basics of TCP networking, Node.js. TCP is not a super complex topic. 
The reason HTTP is so complex is because HTTP is built on top of TCP. So not only do you have the things TCP does, but you have all the additional abstractions that HTTP offers. But this is the very low level version, you know, for Node.js. And it's, it's fairly simple as is. There are community modules built that simplify it even further, but I mean, it, it's perfectly fine as is. I, I would use the core module unless you had a reason not to. And that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or come chat on Discord about it. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video.